Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mike and Christelle podcast, where family meets faith and fun. Today, we are talking about couples using porn to enhance their sexual desire. Yeah, we will tell you what we think about it. If it's wrong, it's right. We, we have different opinions on this subject. Yep. But before we go deeper... Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you do not miss when we post new episodes. Why couples can get to a place where they feel like they need to yeah, right. use pornography to enhance uh, their... Does it enhance? Yeah, that's that. Uh, we've heard from many people. <laughs> we've heard from many enhance. people saying, asking that question. Mm-hmm. Uh, like many people, many couples, like uh, I've been asked that. We've been asked that question. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so uh, is it okay if my husband and I, or my wife and I, use some um, pornography? It's to, not. It's not like to bad because, spice up. Yeah, uh, to, to spice up. Ooh, <laughs> to, to spice to, up. Yeah. Uh, uh, the business. Yeah, in our bedroom. Yes. And you know what? We 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 know many people think about these things. So mm-hmm. why not talk about it? Yeah. Because we know. What people are thinking quietly, we want to talk about it loudly. The, the, the first thing is, what really happened for you to get to a place where you think it's okay to use pornography to enhance your relationship? What, what, is, uh, what is happening in your yeah, sexual what, life? What, what happened? To, what, to, what is the issue? There's an I issue, don't, yeah, there's that, an underlying so we, thing going on. We understand the need for something to enhance your sexual yes, life. We yes. understand that. Mm-hmm. But we want to ask the first the, the question first, what happened to get to a place where you yeah. you reach out to porn? Mm-hmm. So before we judge it or before even we encourage it, we want to we want to look into pornography. We want to look into the why behind it. Yeah. The first thing we want to bring to your attention is that Pornography is not designed for sexual education. Absolutely. That is completely not the point. Yes. Pornography yeah. is it's designed... It's not to educate it, any sexual uh, practice. It, it doesn't have anything to do with sexual education. Y- you don't go to pornography to learn how to treat your wife or how to treat your husband. That's, that's not even the purpose of Mm-mm. those who do it. No. They don't do it to teach you something. They no. do it just to mess up with people's mind. Because of the purpose of pornography, it's not designed to teach you something. It's designed just to stimulate people's brain. Most of the things they do are not real. So you can't just really learn from something that is not real and think it will help your marriage. Because most of the things that you will see there are not are not helpful to your to your marriage. Uh, in, in fact, they are going to... If anything, they are detriment. it's a detriment to your marriage, definitely, actually. Because... Definitely. Um, First of all, you, it's interesting. You're looking at other people. Yeah, of course. I think looking at other people naked. Oh, babe, if it was for a purpose of teaching, education, like, I would say, yeah, I will be... In, hmm. in this conversation, let me be honest. If it was for the pur- for education so if purpose, the intention from behind w- making porn was okay, we are let's making educate this to educate the world people. around how to have good sex. Yeah, maybe I would start considering, but that is just one point. I'm not yet talking about other things, but just to start with the purpose. If the purpose is education, I would say mm, let's consider it. But the purpose is not education. The purpose is to stimulate people's brains. So they do things that are fake. They're not real. There's nothing you and your spouse are going to learn from it. So Mm. that's the first place to start. Mm. The purpose of it is not educational. It is entertainment. It is stimulating people's brains. So they do things that are not real. What if a couple who's like we've we've started with uh, couples who were sincerely having an issue in their sexual life yes what what do we do for them if they say okay we were trying we're trying to make this thing work yes and so we would we, we thought about porn so yes. how is it okay what do we do that's exactly where we started because mm-hmm. when we started you said what is really happening in your marriage to get to a place where you so what is the issue then porn exactly mm-hmm. that, that's the second point i, w- I would mention mm-hmm. the second thing is if your spouse's body cannot really stimulate you, then there is a deeper issue in your relationship. Not just the body, even what you say to each other, what you do, the skills, the, or your sexual skills. You need to work on that because bringing somebody else in the room, bringing another person in the room to come to stimulate you is bringing a stranger, even if it's on the screen. Why, why would you like another woman 
body, another woman's body to stimulate or your, another man, yeah. Your husband. Or what do you like another man's body to stimulate your wife or mm. another couple's sex to stimulate the two of you? Something is missing between Something's the two of you. Something's going on that is that bigger. you really need There's to look into. Issue. Yeah, yeah that's going what you, on, you yeah. need to look into. It is important to understand that the whole joy of sex in marriage is the is is the is the, in, big, intimacy. Is the intimacy yeah. is yeah. the is it's our thing it's yeah. between the two of us absolutely only. Mm. we cannot invite any it other wasn't intended it wasn't intended to have to share it i mean to, no, it's, no, it's, sex it's is, supposed to it's and supposed that's to the be beauty of absolutely it. the beauty of sex to yeah. be between two people mm. who love each other and who who are ready to share every part of them or of each other with yeah, each other. Yeah. So if, if that's the process of becoming one, yes. you know. So yeah. if you invite another person in that relationship, it's even if it's on screen, it's 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 still it's still yes, something it's dangerous. Got, something is really wrong mm. with with inviting a third person into yeah. into your into your intimacy. We we believe we believe that we become one when we make love in marriage not when we exchange vows we do not become one when we exchange vows no we become one when we make love so love making is what makes a couple one and you cannot invite a third person into that oneness it's a big mistake to invite a third yeah. person in that oneness that's why bringing pornography in your bedroom is inviting a third party or two other people or 10 other people or however whatever pornography you're looking at you're bringing it into your bedroom your mind is going outside of your bedroom instead of focusing on each other instead of focusing on your spouse you are now focusing on the screen on that couple to enhance your that's another reason why we think, oh, this may be a bad idea to bring. Yeah. If you do, if it's an issue, like it's an issue for you, you really want to have good sex. Yes. I think there's some good resources out there. Oh, yeah. You know, there's yeah. some uh, some people who can help you, like really. Yeah. I, I, believe, I believe sex education should be more accessible for couples, even for Christian couples. And mm. one of the reasons why we are doing this podcast is because there are some topics that Christians don't talk about. You, you, you will go to church, you will not hear about it. You go, your friends don't talk about it. It's important for us to be talking about these things. Our children need to hear this from us. Mm -hmm. Our friends need to hear this from us. For mature, responsible people mm. talking about responsible issues. Yeah. You know, instead of letting Because whether you like it or not, especially for children, whether you like it or not, they hear it. They hear it. They'll hear it. They hear it. Yeah. So we believe that pornography will not really teach you much unless... Uh, it was designed for education. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Most of the time, there is an issue between you, that communication. You haven't discussed what pleases you, what's really... Yeah. I think there is a communication issue out of the bedroom. It's yes. more of yes. how you guys relate to each other. But, 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 but the issue can be also in the bedroom, Mama. You can be good, good, good friend and good in a good relationship out there in your life. But when you get in your bedroom, you, you haven't communicated how to please each other. Or you haven't communicated how to touch each other or yes. what pleases each other. Yeah. And, and that is problematic. In also, couples. the issue can be out of the bedroom. Yeah, like you can be, um, you know. If, communication is not word. only, communication is not word only into, it's a circle. Uh, into finances or raising children. or No, communication is also how, what, what do you like me to do for you? What I expect you to do for me? Communication is, in, is on all those all those aspects, and when I say "do for me," I mean sexually. What pleases you? What don't you like? What makes you uncomfortable? What makes you comfortable? All those things should be discussed in uh, every day. Like communicate into your sex yeah. life. And the last point that we want to raise in this subject is a scripture in Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-eight, where Jesus says, "If you just look at a woman lustfully." you have sinned already in your heart. You have committed adultery in your heart. The way we look at this scripture is, I don't think you can bring a pornography in your bedroom, another woman, another man, naked in your bedroom without lasting after them. I don't think so. Personally, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can watch pornography without lasting those after that thing happening. 
Jesus says it clearly that if you look at another person lustfully, you sin against, you sin already in your heart. It means it is sin mm. to watch pornography. Yeah, it is sin. So. If you are commi a committed Christian and you want to live a Christian life, you know already that looking at somebody on screen, on TV, or on, on in a magazine or something lustfully is sinning against God. That already can, should be your, your frame, your guideline for what should happen in your, in your bedroom. So with this scripture in mind, we would say it is wrong to invite pornography in your bedroom instead of being enjoying your 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 love making the two of you in your mind you are thinking about what you are seeing on the screen in your mind you will be like you are fantasizing about someone else to enjoy your spouse just imagine that that imagine the level of deception so it's not really your has your your spouse you are making love to or you are you are enjoying it is the image on the screen that you're enjoying that is cheating that is cheating it is not fair and it's not okay it is not okay so bringing pornography in the bedroom is is wrong in many ways in many ways in the spiritual sense emotional sense uh, even in a physical sense we don't think it's helpful if you want to know more about the danger or damage of pornography to, to you as a person, there are so many resources out there you can you can look at. But we are talking about just in a relationship as a marriage, for all these reasons we've given, we think it is a wrong move. It's not good for you. It's not good for your relationship. Yeah. It will drift you more and more, uh, more apart than bringing you closer. One uh, thing you need to keep in mind is pornography was never meant to educate you sexually. No. So no. its main purpose is not educate. No. no. Its purpose is not educating you sexually. Yeah. So you can't use it. It can't help you. Yeah. I think there's better um, resources. Resources you yeah. can you can find. Yeah. That are intent their intention and the yeah. main purpose for them is to teach you. Yeah, and the first and, you know, place to, to start you. the first place to start is to talk the two of you should talk. Why don't you feel excited about having sex in your bedroom? Uh, we say bedroom, but whatever. Maybe the bedroom is the issue. Maybe you, yeah. you, you, need, maybe you need to start trying it in the kitchen. Maybe you, you need the to kitchen. Start, yeah, the kitchen. Maybe is a good you, idea. you need to try somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. Maybe there is a there, yeah. There, yes, there are so many reasons why you may feel like you need to bring something from from another galaxy to come and, and, and enhance your sexual <laughs> life. Another galaxy. <laughs> yes. the, yeah, start from having a deep Talk about conversation it. about Talk about this. what you don't like, what you like, what you would like to see, and maybe that will be a good place to start. P -p Porn will not help you. That's, that's our point. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you want to hear more or watch more from us, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast, a YouTube channel, and until next time, Bye for now. Bye.